are so sleep on you. People are sleep on me. Sleep. Like, knocked out. Like, bitch, where? Like, yeah. What's up, everyone? It is Corey Carter here. Today, I'm going to be coming with a different video for you. It's more of a last minute video. Kind of just thought of it, and I was like, you know what? I just want to talk about career stuff. Like, I want to talk about dreams. I want to talk about how to feel once while you're in the process of chasing your dreams. And I just feel like it's a video that I want to put out because it's something that I know that I struggle with. And I know I'm not the only one in the world struggling with it. So I thought I'd just, you know, talk to you guys about it. Maybe give a little advice. Talk to each other, you know, and just rant i guess so if you are wanting to see this video please stay tuned and um yeah i try not to talk your ear off too much so yeah you know lately it's just been like a struggle trying to stay motivated and positive about your current situation and sometimes it's just you just you have so much you want to do that you're fearful of the things that you want to do because it's like you know those things don't come easy and you know those things aren't regular or those things aren't easy to grasp and when you really really want success or you really want to have a level or get to a level of success it's almost it almost makes you fearful it almost makes you like well, maybe maybe i'm not doing enough or maybe i i don't have enough to do what it is i'm trying to do or maybe you know you look at the next person and be like oh i don't have all the things that this person has or i don't have the kind of skills that this person has or i just don't have it you know what i mean you start to have a lot of self-doubt you start to you know have a get a lot of fear that maybe you won't be successful or maybe you won't make it just because you don't have what the next person has and it a lot of wanting to be successful has a lot to do with your mindset and a lot to do with you know how you, or how you will go about doing things because if you have a lot of fear or you have a lot of self-doubt then a lot of the things that you do won't be 100%. You know what I'm saying? You won't be doing your best at what you possibly can do to achieve the things that you want to achieve. And even the things that you can't physically do, you know, just believing and having faith that God will do the rest. You know what I mean? Like believing that whatever is out of your control, that he will step in to provide those needs. And it's really hard to keep that in mind all the time because it's like you're doing what you can you're doing what you can you're doing what you can and sometimes it doesn't feel like you're getting very far or sometimes it feels like it's not enough or you know sometimes you're not getting the feedback that you want and sometimes you know things aren't going according to how you feel they should go because you're putting in all this work so it doesn't seem like it amounts to anything but if you're just staying consistent if you're just staying positive, if you keep doing all of what you can do and never giving up, because there's going to be people that come into your life where they see all the work that you're putting in towards something that they don't too much care for, and so they start putting that doubt in you. They start, they start making you feel like, well, maybe you shouldn't be doing this, or maybe you should focus on something that's more concrete, or maybe you should just focus on, you know, something that is reliable, like a nine to five or studies or whatever that's concrete in their mind but is not necessarily concrete in yours you know and i guess i'm really speaking to this could go like broad like to anyone doing anything or whatever their dreams are but i'm mostly focusing on i guess i'm not really focused on anyone but it, you can really feel it towards people that are more artists like, they don't want to be in a corporate job. They don't want to do corporate things. They don't want to have the typical clock in and clock out, salary paid, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is more towards the people that are self-starters or business owners or singers, or songwriters, actors, actresses, YouTubers, you know, anyone, really. But you really feel that 
really, really feel that self-doubt when you're a creative person and you're trying to do something that's not typical, you know? And so you find that you have a lot of pressure put on you because you're not doing something typical. You're not doing something that <laughs> everybody else is doing or everybody else is going to school. Everybody else is getting a master's. Everybody else is getting a degree. Everybody else is working a nine to five. Everybody else is corporate. Everybody else is just, they live their life nine to five and not everybody is set up for that, you know? And I personally feel like, you know, with my situation and, and stylist, but it's hard being a hairstylist when you have a child and you're in a state that no one, you don't know anyone, you know? So it's like, I feel like I'm trying to do what it is my passion is of hair, but life and get starts to set you back. Life makes you feel like, well, maybe this isn't for you or life makes you feel like, well, you don't have time for this, you know? You don't have time, you don't have, you're not making enough money. Maybe you should just go work a regular job. So then you get caught up in a job. And not only just a job, you get caught up in a call center job. Now you're the call center bitch. Because <laughs> now you're the call center. And you're, you're stuck there because the pay is good, but you hate your job, but you need the money. And you start putting off your own dreams. And you start putting off all the things that you really want to do just because it's practical right now. And then you find yourself very unhappy and you're trying to scramble to get back to that place of happiness and that's me you know I'm trying to branch out on my own and branch out of doing corporate things and regular job things and being unhappy and just you know really feeling like you know I don't want to do work in vain I don't want to come to work every single day unhappy I don't know how people can go to the same job for years day in and day out and be so miserable like I can't do it more than six months <laughs> never alone for five six seven eight plus years I don't know how people can do that to themselves and deprive themselves of not being truly happy with the career that they want and it's like I'm willing to scratch and claw my way up to the things that I need to do it's like I'm not doing hair full time but I'm doing everything that I can to be able to do hair full time so rather that's YouTube or social media and getting the recognition that I need to do what it is I want to do then that's what I'll do like <laughs> that's what I'll do so it's just like you know all this to say that it's practical to go to a nine to five it's practical to go back to school. Hell, I'm going to go back to school, you know? It's nothing wrong, wrong with getting a degree and being practical. There's nothing wrong with that for the moment, but if it doesn't make you happy, if that's not what you want to do, then do what makes you happy. Find a way to put away that self-doubt, to put away that fear, to put away that 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 comparison that you're not as good as the next person because that next person may not always have the skill but they have consistency and you know they're working hard at that and that's all that it really takes is to continue to be consistent even when you're not getting the things out of it right now at the moment you know and putting away or, or pushing those people away that doubt you and don't think you're going to get very far with this what you want to do because it's not practical and even if they have to be in your life learn how to tune those voices out and to listen to what makes what you know is in your heart of hearts to do like it's hard it's a daily struggle to know that people are so sleep on you <laughs> people are sleep on me sleep like knocked out like bitch where like sleep and they and they won't know anything they will be in a straight coma until you finally glow up for, until you finally are they won't get woke until you are in the position of success and or like you hear 
you know that's when people decide to be like oh i've been knowing her or and then that's when they start to be like buddy buddy in your face and you're like ah. believing in me like you have all this doubt you will sleep on me but you you know you're gonna get there and when you get there it's gonna be great it's gonna be bomb and if they weren't along for the ride then psh, bye see you later like you wasn't with me you wasn't sticking with me you wasn't there you wasn't riding by me you wasn't like you wasn't helping me you wasn't being a friend or a brother or a sister or a mama or a, you know, whoever it is that's putting that doubt in you you know if they're not with you through the struggle if they don't believe in you through the struggle if they didn't help you build that letter ladder if they wasn't helping promote you or if they didn't you know if they didn't do it absolutely nothing what's that story with the chicken and the hen or whoever where she was making a pie and all the other little animals didn't want to make her help the pie but then when she was done with the pie they wanted a piece of the pie you can't have none of this i have a sweet tooth you can't eat none of my pie this is all my pie i'm gonna share it who i want to share it with and that's the people that's been riding dying for me throughout this whole thing so keep your faith keep grinding be consistent and have don't doubt yourself because you're only robbing yourself and not only are you robbing yourself but you don't know who else you're robbing by not doing and not walking in your path because you could be helping others you could be you could be saving somebody else like you don't know if you don't do you will never know and you will never be able to help or grow <laughs> into what you were supposed to be doing because fear held you back doubt held you back and even though i sometimes doubt myself because i'd be looking at the next bitch or i'd be looking at you know what i'm saying you get especially females we get caught up in looking at the next person's situation or what they got going on and be like damn like she got so and so and like five months you know what i'm saying it's taking me years you know what i'm saying you can't compare your situations because god working on you like he got you and what is for you is gonna be for you at the end of the day it's not for you the baby girl it's not gonna be for you but you don't know until you try you don't know until you keep going forward and that's just something you gotta do for yourself for your own peace of mind i know for me it's for my own peace of mind and my sanity it's like i have to do this like i have to i can because my anxiety levels i deal with anxiety and it's terrible i don't have anxiety medication or anything like that but when i get anxiety i start to have like a panic attack i start to feel like overwhelmed i start to feel like i can't do this i can't do this i can't do this and i just i need to and i need an out you know and i don't like getting to that level of stress that i feel like i need an out so yeah that was really long seems like a really long video <laughs> i haven't feel like i've been talking for forever but you know just at the end of the day keep your faith be consistent work hard and i think working hard and being consistent it goes hand in hand kind of i mean you can be consistent in putting out shitty quality and so maybe not but kind of if you're consistent, I would assume that you're working hard to stay consistent. So, and you know, read this book. Read The Four Agreements. This is a really good book. Really, really, really good book. And it helped me a lot to stay impeccable with my words, to not take anything personally, do my best, and to and to not make assumptions. Those four things is, is major key, major key, four agreements is major key. And it'll have you have a little different outlook on life because if you're not taking it, everything personally and not making it to be like, oh man, why is this happening to me? 
oh why did I gotta do this why da, 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 da. and not taking everything so personal you know it's okay like like I don't know like this it happened but I'm gonna keep pushing forward you know like who cares what people have to say about you who cares if something didn't go completely your way life goes on things get better keep pushing keep striving keep grinding because if you want it you're going to continue to do it so why harvest those feelings why keep all those that bullshit bottled up like why like there's no point like give it in okay whatever that happened okay whatever keep moving you keep pushing you keep going so this is a good book and um you know whatever helps you get through your day whatever helps keep you pushing whether it's reading a daily devotional word i read a, a daily devotional every day i read a scripture and it breaks it down and applies to my life um you talk to god keep that relationship you don't have to be religious keep that relationship between you and him you know keep going and do whatever keeps makes you happy at the end of the day, this message is do whatever makes you happy and who gives a flying bleep who has to say anything about it. So that's all for my chit chat girly rant. I hope y'all loved it. I hope y'all enjoyed this talk. Yep. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Give it a please give it a big thumbs up if you like this video and if you would like for me to do more videos like this also let me know i could do like a one about your man about niggas about dudes how they treating you or how they not treating you okay. we can do all of that you know if you guys like these little rant videos i just thought i might share my feelings and i know that some people can relate to what i'm going through and they're going through it too so yep but thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Bye.